Well, as the state continues to fight COVID, a Marshall County woman says her life turned upside down when she was diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder months after she had a mild case of COVID-19. The disorder is called ITP and destroys platelets in your blood, which are meant to keep you from bleeding. News Force Marissa Sulik is live at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. And Marissa, are COVID and ITP related? Well, Marius, doctors here at Vanderbilt say that ITP is very rarely associated with COVID-19, but they can be related. They say other viruses, ITP that is, are related to the disorder like HIV, hepatitis, and Zika. But so this is not new information. However, I talked with a patient today who tells me she believes COVID-19 put her where she is now. Adriana Stoltz is a wife mother, and a 31-year-old who had energy to travel anywhere at any time. But a year ago, life took a turn. Initially, I had a very mild infection with COVID. I just lost my sense of taste and smell. She says she recovered and felt fine. That's until she started seeing spots on her legs and arms. I noticed that my bruises were getting um, darker in color and they would last long, they would stay on my body longer. Um, and it was easier for me to bruise. She visited a doctor in East Tennessee who diagnosed her with ITP. It's an autoimmune disorder that brought her platelet count, which should be at 150,000 to 350,000, down to 35,000. The body is basically attacking the platelets and destroying them. Dr. Lindsay Goodman started working with Stoltz at Vanderbilt later on in the process. At the time, Stoltz was taking high doses of steroids as treatment, but wasn't responding well to them. Dr. Goodman put her on chemotherapy drugs. We finished the fourth treatment the day before I turned 31. And here we are just a few, a few weeks out. Stoltz believes she wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her initial mild COVID infection. That was the only illness I had suffered at that point. So it seems like, you know, two plus two equals four. It's very possible that this is related to the COVID infection that she had. There is some data that has come out of the Cleveland Clinic. Um, they looked at about 3,000 patients that had COVID and about 0.3% of those patients ended up with ITP. It's rare. But Stoltz says she found others going through the same disorder after she took to Facebook. For it to be a rare condition, it sure seems like there's a lot of people that are suffering through it right now. As for Stoltz, she says the disorder takes a toll on her daily life. Her energy isn't there like it used to. It's, it's difficult to not even be able to, you know, play soccer with my daughter, something I used to do, no questions asked, eyes closed. Now, Stoltz, Stoltz says one of the side effects of the autoimmune disorder is fatigue. And just to get through the day, she has to take a nap. Every day, that is. Now, doctors say that this will be a lifelong disorder. And she'll, for example, every four weeks, she'll have to come here to Vanderbilt to get some blood work done. Marius. Wow, Marissa, thank you so much.